Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you for a little bit about toxic urine, right? I mean, as a red-blooded, proud, and pure American, we've been raised that that is some stinky, toxic waste material that should be disposed of and it should be disposed of properly <laughs> don't get it on your hands, wash your hands, use all that hey, Tink's trying to s steal my mango <laughs> okay, give me one mm. um, you know, from the time we're born, from the time our kids are born I taught my kids just like you did, just like you were taught, and I can't say that's wrong or bad. I mean, our parents were brought up that way, right? But <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't. I should not record and eat at the same time. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you something. You know, no use babbling on about toxicity or feeling bad because we beat our kids. We, no, of course we didn't beat our kids. <laughs> but, you know, shaming them for pee. I feel kind of bad for that. I had four kids. And even Trinity, now Trinity was completely different because she came in a different phase in my life, but, <coughs> excuse me, I'll quit babbling on here, I'll show you this, um, this is just to confirm this is me, female sex, age 53, carry X, I don't think they had me middling, anyway, this is the levels, the doctor handed me in my the my strange addiction uh, episode, right? You can see at the very end of the episode she hands me a paper. That was my blood result. Well, this is the paper, and <coughs> you know, in order to get people to look at things, they have to be kind of warped and, and kind of weird on TV in order for people to look at it? Well, maybe. Because that doctor wasn't in any way being dishonest. And everybody took it like she said I was, like I have toxic levels of, like my, like my blood levels are toxic and, oh God, spit it out here, creating damage to my kidneys, right? I don't believe that. I believe that urine is actually making my kid kidney stronger. But here are, I just want to show you. I've showed this to a couple of uh, professional medical people. And, you know, these aren't toxic levels. This is 31 for the urea. And this is the norm. And 25 is the high. And then we have creatinine, which is, here's the level, and it's barely high, okay? And I'll just let you see, get a good look at that. So anything high here, we've got a 27 and 6 to 22. The range isn't bad. So I researched. Now here's the other one. The one that's uh, low is potassium. And it's really barely low. Okay. And, and I did Google and researched highs and low levels and, and these are barely elevated. Not toxic. And <laughs> Not to get defensive at all, and I'm, I want to try to 
I want to have intention to present this in a way where I'm not getting defensive, all right? Um, if you could try and put yourself into my shoes, I, I, I'm very comfortable with a little gun pointed at my face and talking to you heart to heart, you know? But those were some big guns <laughs> shooting, pointed right at me. Okay, now, um, a normal person like you and me that sits in their home and is kind of a, you know, do-it-yourself kind of girl, um, well, they, most people would get their makeup just right and make sure your hair and eyebrows and clothes and everything's all right. And, um... Why was I telling you all that? <laughs> oh, my levels must be toxic. <laughs> Crazy, see? There's another thumbs up for that insane one. Um, let me just breathe and focus here. Mm, oh, right, right, okay. Well, okay, right when I knew the camera crew was coming to the house, say a week before didn't you know things were moving really fast what would you do if what you're doing is what you want to expose and, and be the best you can be I was doing a lot shooting a lot of guns off doing all of it drinking all of it probably forgetting to drink water so for just to have those slightly elevated levels, I think it's pretty good. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying put yourself in my shoes. You're going to try and do everything right. So what I got to learn is a whole lot from that. You know, you don't want to overdo it, <laughs> okay? Your, elevated, your levels will get slightly elevated but not toxic, so you can, okay, there is even a lesson beyond that. You can overdo it, and they will only be slightly elevated. So, you know, it's taken four years, but my, my eyesight, I think, is improving. I have an eye chart in my hall, and I try to look at it regularly, and I should make a note of what it is. I did go see an eye doctor before this all began, so I could do a follow-up to that. But anyway, uh, really exciting stuff going on in the urine therapy world with the World, Con world Urine Therapy Convention possibly happening in, happening in America. And you guys that are coming to this country and psyched about coming I am really excited, but wow, I can hope we have more than a few of us. I know there's a lot of us, right? <laughs> that would be so awesome to see and talk to some people face to face, you know? Anyway, I'll stop for now. Have a great day, guys.